Hey guys, Crypto Foxy here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. So in this video, I'm going to make this fairly quick, guys. Um, I've been um, away at a car show all day today, just getting home, getting ready to go to their our end of season banquet for darts um, in a dart league and such. Um, just kind of a fun stuff or whatever. But, um, you know, getting ready to get that done. So I'm just gonna jumping on here, making a quick video for you guys before I do so. So we have three days left before the merger, the ASI merger starts between Fetch AI, AGIX, and Ocean Protocol. So three days away, what is going on? Everybody's, you know, freaking out over the price of, um, you know, all three basically of our um, assets here. So we can see here Fetch AI. I'm going to move myself over so you can see that a little bit better. All right. So here's the Fetch AI chart. We are at a dollar seventy four. So this has come down dramatically. Um, we were we were holding over the two dollar mark for for a good bit there, um, but now we've dropped down to uh, I believe we're we're right around support right now at a dollar seventy four. We're right around that range. Um, I don't have the exact figure for you guys, but I do know that this is where one of our stronger supports are. So hopefully things will hold. Um, we we did have a broader market sell off happen yesterday, and that's really what drove the prices down. Because if you look at this chart. Okay, well, look at this chart. So and this is uh, AGIX and this is Ocean. They all look identical, right? They're very, very similar. They're down about, you know, three, four percent. And really the entire market uh, came down as well. We had a, a liquidation going on and things, uh, we just had a massive sell-off. So am I worried? I'm going to tell you guys straight up, I'm not worried about ASI long term. I think we are going to have a little bit of volatility here um, over the merger because, some people might have a, you know, a sell the news type of outlook on it. So a lot of times in crypto, you'll get people buy, buy something just for the catalyst so they can make a quick buck and they sell during the news. And then, you know, they basically walk away and on to the next one. I kind of don't see this happening here with, with uh, the AGI or the ASI merger because of the value of the tokens has already come down so much since, you know, where Fed had its all time high there in March and the, uh, the ASI merger was announced. I just don't see that happening, but the, again, it's crypto and anything can happen. Um, however, we're, yeah, we're turning, things are looking like they're starting to turn around, in my opinion. And what I mean by that is the overall macro factors, right? We've got inflation and all that stuff that we talk about all the time. And that does make a difference in terms of the crypto market and money that people have to spend on things like crypto or more volatile assets. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, we're going to go through the merger. I think things are going to be, you know, they might be a little up and down, but I don't think, I don't think we're going to see any massive swings in my opinion. I think afterwards, you know, in the summer, we're going to have a bit of more of an accumulation zone. And then I think in the fall, like I've mentioned before, we're going to see a move up with Bitcoin and the overall market. Like everything is basically going to go up and we are going to get a, you know, a bull market that we're, we're pretty much expecting, a, you know, post having post Bitcoin having. So I think things are going to turn around here, guys. Like I'm not too overly worried um, when I'm talking about ASI's price action and why I'm not worried because I'm thinking long term. I'm not here to make a, you know, uh, a quick, you know, two, three X or whatever and walk away. That's not my style for this type of, of asset. I think that um, ASI is going to be uh, one. It's going to be for sure the top uh, AI crypto period. So, I mean, how, what's not to be bullish on that? AI still has a massive uh, following, a massive uh, hype around it. And there's also, there's a lot of uh, positive sentiment around AI specifically. Um, and we get into crypto and this is going to be the most, the biggest project in crypto, I think is going to do just fine. So guys, three days away before the ASI merger starts, you guys know I will be here for you. I will answer any questions you might have. As of right now, we don't know which exchanges um, beyond the couple that I, I reported on uh, the other day. We don't know um, if they're going to be basically supporting it or not. Uh, I'm going to be doing a deeper dive tomorrow. So stay tuned. I will, if I find out anything, I will make sure to let you guys know. Um, I just don't have the time today, but I'm going to do a deeper dive for you guys tomorrow. See if we can figure out, um, you know, which exchanges are going to support it or not. And uh, that way I can give you guys a, you know, comprehensive list if I'm able to pull that out. We don't, might not know yet, right? Uh, they might not uh, have that information out there and released. So I'm going to have to do a, a little bit of looking to see what we've got so far. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to my videos. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow and uh, everybody have a great Saturday evening. Thanks.